Now, Douglas Bader was one of the RAF's greatest heroes. He lost his legs at the age of 22, but went on to fight in the Battle of Britain and survived time as a POW in Colditz. Well, this year, the Douglas Bader Foundation is launching a series of activity days to motivate and inspire children who've lost limbs. And a new exhibition in his memory has been unveiled at, where else, the RAF Museum. There is no better place to remember the inspirational story of Douglas Bader than at the RAF Museum in North London. Douglas Bader had close ties with the area around this museum. He flew in the Red Arrows of the day at Hendon Airfield. And this is the Bristol Bulldog aeroplane he would have flown in, and it's the exact one used in the film of his life, Reach for the Skies. This year is the 100th anniversary of his birth, and to mark that centenary, the museum has put on a Bader exhibit. After losing his legs in a flying accident aged just 22, his logbook entry reads simply, crashed slow rolling near ground, bad show. And from there on in, he really wanted to demonstrate that he could live life as normally as possible uh, and have nothing to hold him back, and that in itself was very inspirational. The Douglas Bader Foundation was set up by family and friends to carry on his inspirational work. This year it will focus on children who've lost limbs. More and more small children with meningitis uh, are, are having to have amputations and they're incredibly brave and we felt the two things linked together very very nicely. They'll have the chance to fly in light aircraft on a series of aviation days and they'll be taken on adventure weekends. Bada was once a member of a Canadian Indian tribe, hence the name for the children who'll take part, Bada Braves, all very much in the spirit of Douglas Bada. There are three words that you associate with Douglas Bada, courage, determination and inspiration. And I know that his work uh, subsequent to his wartime, his RAF career, a lot of that was devoted towards inspiring young people and others who were in, uh, similarly disabled to himself and giving them something to aim for and showing them what could be achieved. Douglas Bader's example is one that continues to inspire. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, the RAF Museum.